This clip was sent to me by the LP Ginger. There's a trick for this level in Super Mario Sunshine where you get hit by the wind and then use the invincibility frames to jump across the goo to where you can collect the shine. He first gets extremely unlucky when an enemy spawns right underneath him which cancels his invincibility, but then another one spawns in the perfect location so he's able to bounce across to safety. Oh my gosh! That was pretty amazing! This is a clip from one of Narcissa's Wind Waker runs. In the Wind Waker, you have an air meter that appears when you're in the water, and when the meter runs out, you drown. In this case, Link comes out of the water on the same frame the air meter runs out, causing the depleted meter to stay on screen even while Link is on land. Uh, the speed isn't that great. I'm going directly towards it. I had the perfect angle change. My speed is gonna fuck me, isn't it? Oh my god, okay, Jesus. Come on, get me up there. Oh my god, look at the- the meter's still on the screen! It must have been the same frame that I would have drowned. Uh, look at the- the fucking meter is on the screen. <laughs> oh my god. If you guys watched my top 10 heartbreaking moments in speedrunning and know I accidentally included this clip somehow, this happened while Hugo1 was doing a GTA San Andreas run. Getting hit by this train will easily kill you, and he just narrowly missed it. See what you did. This is all your fault, Jizz. Jizz man. Whoa! Did you see that? That was sick. This happened while Orchestra was running Breath of the Wild. Right at the beginning, she misses one of her shots, which depletes her stamina. That meant she had to make a third shot in real time and just barely lands it. Ah! 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 Mm, fuck. No way! Ah! <laughs> that actually worked! Wilco messed up here and missed the coconut when he tried to spray it down. So instead of trying to spray it again, he used one that was on the ground from earlier. However, coconuts will despawn after being on the ground for a certain amount of time. That meant Wilco had to do this very quickly, and he manages to pull it off just in time. Because that coconut lay there for quite some time, so I need to get this first try. That's why I wanted to get the other coconut first, but... Let's do this. Damn, that was so close. But the risk paid off. Here's another sunshine clip, this time from Red Falcon Games. There's a technique in this game called Y-turning. You can press Y while in the air to zoom in the camera and redirect your speed in different directions. He mistimes his spin jump, which sends him towards the abyss below, but he quickly reacts using a Y-turn to save himself. Oh! <laughs> Let's go, dude! That was so awesome! How do I get, how do I, how do I, oh my god! This is from a race between Punkation and Cheese. You can see Punkation's TV in the background. They were running Super Mario 64 120 star, and after the entire run, they end at almost exactly the same time. Yes, look. <laughs> You're ahead by like a second or two. <laughs> I can't believe that. Wait. No fucking way. It says, was it like half a second apart or is there a timer off? Huh? What does it do? What does it do? 142.25.63. Here's another clip of Wilco. In Corona Mountain, it's very easy to bump the boat into one of these pillars, which causes it to sink. Wilco crashed his boat, but he manages to save himself using the hover nozzle. Okay, that's safe. This is an old clip of Chrism running Super Mario Galaxy 2. He falls off while running against a vertical wall, forcing him to use Yoshi's Flutter to save it. I'm dead. No! 
And now to end the video, we have Jeff running Super Monkey Ball Deluxe. He goes for a hard trick in which you skip this entire spiral. He barely misses and it bounces him up into the air, but somehow he finds a way to redirect it and save himself. I hope you're having a good day too. Oh boy. Uh. 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 Oh baby. Um, that was sick. Oh my god. Uh, uh. Oh, baby!